Hi, here's a quick video walkthrough on identifying nested group membership of users via an investigative approach. A user can be member of groups A and B in a direct manner. Say group B is linked to a top level admin group in a nested manner. We are aware that the native Active Directory users on Computer Console can't really help you figure out the nested group membership. Clicking on the AD Reports tab can get your job done. Under the Users Reports section, we will be making use of the nested reports. The Users in Groups report lists members of a specified group. On the other hand, the Groups for Users report gives you the selected users group membership both in direct and in nested manner. Clicking on the Groups for Users report. In this example, I have pre-created a test user account who is a member of a nested group called the IT Technician's Nested Group. Let's go ahead and select this test user. Searching for the test user. In this case, it's IT Technician Nested User. Selecting the IT Technician Nested User and clicking OK. Let's quickly jump to the native Active Directory user console and view the group membership of this test user. Clicking on the Member of tab, the user is shown to be a member of the Domain Users group, the IT Technicians group and the IT Technicians Nested group. It's pretty evident that only the direct membership are visible right here. In this case, three groups. Let's get back to AD Manager Plus and generate the report to find out the actual group membership of this test user. Generating the report. Much to our surprise, it's not just that the user is a part of three groups, but instead is a part of nine groups. Additionally, the administrators group, the domain admins group, the enterprise admins group, and even the schema admins group. And this is primarily because the IT Technician's Nested Group is a member of the Domain Admins Group, Enterprise Admins Group and Schema Admins Group in a nested manner. This level of insight serves to be greatly helpful for an administrator from a security standpoint. In case of you think the group memberships are wrongly set, you can select the unrequired groups from the very same report and remove the membership. So there you go, we've successfully identified the nested group membership for a specified user.